Hi everyone, Surat here with the Let's Play of Mylan's Secret Castle. If you've been paying attention to my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I've done a lot of point-and-click adventure games lately, and I think it's time I do something a little different to break up the monotony of watching me run around, gather items, and try to combine them with other items and people. So, what I am going to be doing is this. A little platformer slash side scroller. There's some exploration element to it because a lot of secrets in this game developed by, as you see, Hudson Soft in 1987. And it comes with a very short story. Mylan lives in the land of Hudson, where everyone can communicate through music. Mylan is the only one he, who can't, so he decides to depart and search for musical knowledge all across the world. When he comes back, he finds out that the evil warlord, Maharito, has taken over his castle and captured Queen Eliza. Mylan is determined to rescue the queen and castle Garland from the clutches of Maharito and his minions, who guard the seven magical crystal balls. So, there's not a ton of story to this. There's just enough story. And... With that, that's pretty much all the story you really need. You'll have a castle, you get to work work through it, beat up seven bosses, and eventually beat up the end boss. It's kind of the, that's kind of all there is to it. Along the way, you will collect different items, which will aid you in your quest, just like a lot of other types of games out there. So, without any further talking, we get started. Little dude, Mylan. We can jump. We can shoot bubbles. We can shoot them up or down. You notice that we have we start out on the first floor of this castle. Well, that's the only place we can go. Let's try this first door. There's nothing here. Why? Because this is where the boss will show up later. And here is a shop. You will see a lot of these, and you can get hints, and if you have money, you can buy items. I will explain money in a second. You get money by finding it, generally. But now let's go into our first actual room. We're here, we shoot bubbles, and anything that's moving in here, aside from the bee you will uncover at times. And that's it. Aside from that, everything that moves in here is an enemy. It will hurt you. Sometimes you'll shoot a block and you see that. That is money. You'll also notice that the blocks, or the enemies, never stop respawning. So how do we fight back? Well, you generally don't want to stand around dawdling in one place too long. A heart. If you notice, over on the left side of the screen, there is that uh, vertical gauge of lines that represents our health. We can collect hearts to fill it, and there are honeycombs hidden in some places that double it, that uh, add lines to it. Now if you'll notice, I just uncovered a secret there. Of course I was walking straight into it as I did, but I knocked away a couple of blocks. Some of the blocks, you'll notice, will be able to be removed with your uh, bubbles. Some won't. And then you can push aside other blocks to maybe open a door, maybe find a key. Now we'll get into that in just a second. Bump head to find box as a hint. Secret entrance in the front wall. Ooh, and a pair of shoes for $16. Those are jump shoes. Very useful. Now you've seen me grab a heart, and you've seen me grab a little umbrella. The umbrella allows you to shoot two bubbles at one time. Bump head to find box. See, look at that right there. Oh. You also have no recovery time from the enemies. Now, this little box here takes you to a minigame. You want to catch notes, but 
not the flats. The flats do nothing for you. The flats take away your points. Ow. There, if you notice, there are the little dotted eight sixteenth notes. There are the flats. And the heavens, there's one, a sharp. A sharp is worth two notes. I think I'm catching a lot of flats from underneath. The whole not being able to react. Ah, oh, missed the sharp. You catch... I think it gives you a dollar per four notes that you catch or something like that. But that is a way to get a few dollars. But the way to find anything in this game is shoot. Shoot as much as possible. See, there's Honeycomb. Pay close attention to the guide on gauge on our left. Notice how it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. See? You grab one of those, you gain extra life points. A key. The key is used to get out of here. And the door is right there. But we don't really want to jump out of here yet, do we? No. We want to get everything in here. Doesn't really help you to grab more than one, I don't think. Oh, I guess you can shoot three at a time. Which is really helpful later, but... Now, let us buy that. Jump higher or springs are set. So, if you find a spring platform, you can now jump higher. You will find... You saw that at the, uh... Next time I go into his shop, I will show you in more detail. Boy, I cannot talk. Watch this. See that? Springs? Allows you to jump up like that. For this area, that's not all that important. But, it will be later. When they make, uh, platforms you can only reach with those shoes. Oh, we've grabbed everything in here, I do believe. And this. Now you notice up in the top left, there are a series of 12 boxes. As we progress, we will find 12 items, like the spring shoes, that all give us special powers as we progress. You shrink when you touch the glove. I will show you the glove in a second. We need it. Now you notice we're back to being just single shot power now, right? Well, that's because you have to refine the uh, parasol, or umbrella, or whatever you actually want to call it, in every individual room. And the reason I wanted to come in here, more money. But yeah, that works about as you'd expect it to. Ow. But I think you get the idea by now, right? You run around, you try not to die, you shoot as many different areas as possible, and you kill enemies. In each room, you need a key. Okay, there is the door out of here, I don't believe.
Oh yeah, that's a pain to get to. I forgot how I have to do that. Okay. And I really don't remember how to get in there. Wait, I bet I know. I bet I know. I bet I have to shrink. Look at over there. Darn it! Missed him. That B is used for a shield. There's one in every stage. Unfortunately, once you shot it, it doesn't come back. It floats away fairly. My next hit will kill me. This is good that I found that. Bit. A, it increases my life count. And B, it refills me. See that glove? You hit it, you shrink. Just in case you're wondering, you notice there's a lantern here for $50? We don't need to buy that. Secrets in the well! Of course, there are always secrets in the well. But we do not need to buy that $50 lamp. No. Mainly because there is another one for 15 later. I need to shrink again, don't I? Oh, I thought for sure that might have worked. There we go. It would have worked. A few extra dollars. Always good to get a few extra dollars before you leave. But we've got the important... We've got the important stuff from here. And now... Now that we have gathered everything we need to... Go in here. And we just barely survive. And the great thing? That crystal gives us what is the only way to continue in this game. After you die, it's usually just game over and you start back at the beginning, if you haven't gotten past this first boss yet. However, once you gather that first crystal, you can hold left and start to continue from the last place you were in. But with that, I see it is time to wrap up the video, so I will go back, time to, so I, it's time to wrap up the video, so I will do so, and next time, when we come back, f the second floor. Until then, take care everybody, see you later.